Who would you favour in that fight, going into that fight? Well, you know, it's interesting, you know, the champion, Klitschko, you know, I know him, he's my friend. Uh, you know, people used to say, well, do you think, do you think this is it? You never know if this is it, because there's different things that rekindle the flame for me. You know, I lost to Hasim Rotman, and it's like, everybody was saying, oh, you're done, you're done. I'm not done yet. Everybody may be thinking that he's done, but in his own mind, he may not be done. He may surprise us. So it really depends on which Klitschko comes to the fight. If it's the Klitschko that we've seen in the past, I'm sorry, I'm going to go for Anthony Joshua on this. So if it's not, if he rekindles this flame and wants to be three-time heavyweight champion of the world, then, you know, I would have to give it to uh, Klitschko. And this final question. In your era of heavyweight boxing where you had Holyfield, Tyson, Rahman, the Briggs, uh, the Foremans that were still there, are any of the heavyweights now in today's era, would they have been in the elite level in your era? Does, does anyone stand out? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. I don't really cross errors. You know, people always ask me, how would you feel if you boxed at Muhammad Ali? How would the fight go? I don't know. I don't cross errors. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Lennox, hey. thank you so much for a little bit of your time, my man. All right, And man. we'll hopefully catch up with you tomorrow at the weigh-in. All right. Lennox Lewis for fighthype.com. Yeah, don't miss it. Thank you very much.